we have been presenting in Edwin Light here as well as the American Academy of Neurology our work on spinal cord reserve showing that is associated with disability, adjusting by mm, disease damage as well as other mm, significant variables, age and sex. So having a larger spinal canal protects you against disability in the same way as having a larger total intergranial volume will protect you against uh, disability, so the concept of brain reserve. Um, we had performed our study using brain scans, previous study, with coverage of the cervical spine. And um, we wanted to make sure that this was the right strategy. And also we wanted to compare that strategy with a uh, set of um, human operators. Uh, in this uh, paper, we have validated our technique. So using uh, head acquisitions is good enough, provides very good uh, uh, intraglass correlation coefficients, meaning that is very similar to what you would obtain using only spinal cord dedicated acquisitions on the one hand. On the other hand, it's the uh, dice coefficients are very good when you compare the canal segmentations you when you use our algorithm in spinal cord in brain scans compared to what the raters would do so it's valid it measures what it should measure and the final is that we uh, assess the reproducibility after one year because we need to know that the canal is stable otherwise if it changes because of the disease then it's no longer a measure of uh, reserve and we observe a very good uh, reproducibility so one year after the interglass correlation coefficients are very high compared to the acquisitions and the, the measures one year before so this is again supporting evidence of the uh, concept that we can measure this canal and that we reliably and that um, this canal can be used, this area of the spinal cord canal can be used as a proxy of uh, spinal cord reserve.